Hello viewers, my name is PewPewChuChu and today we will be starting our campaign for Conflict of Heroes now that the Ghost Divisions expansion is out. We'll be taking a look at the Hippodarian campaign here and uh, I think we'll be starting on the first battle, although we can't start on any of these really. So, uh, a little bit about the game now. Conflict of Heroes is a tactical level war game, so it's a, it's a fairly, well, realistic simulation of uh, war and the conflict of series the conflict of heroes is a series of games uh, currently deal with the um, the Russian front uh, with the new expansion we can play one of these uh, well mini campaigns where we essentially play battle after battle and uh, our score is kept throughout Inside this one, it is June 30th, 1941. We are to take a platoon of infantry and clear the roads over here. So, let's begin. And I believe it's titled the Guderian Campaign simply because, uh, while well, the campaign shares a, a connection with the uh, German general Heinz Guderian, which was a tank, uh, well, like a panzer general, actually. He, I, I don't really know why we played with infantry first, but oh well. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, well, our objectives today is to take the objectives here, one crossroads, one of these exits, uh, and another exit over here. Um, these, um, these points, these uh, objectives here, they add up to our point totals indicated over here um, over the course of the battle, which is five turns, and I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but um, when we start playing, uh, I, I think you'll notice how uh, how flat turns play out that it's not um, a particularly short amount of time. Uh, we want to cap those objectives as fast as we can because uh, they do build up point totals uh, over time but the first of our issues is this uh, Russian Maxim squad. So the Maxim is a fairly like heavy MG and set up inside one of those buildings well it's relatively heavy compared to our LMG uh, teams over here. How we're going to clear that out is that we're going to get one of our LMG here, here to uh, put a burst into them. So our points here have six AP points listed here. It costs us two AP points to fire, and it should do four damage if it hits. Let's see if our uh, troops are able to do any damage. And unfortunately, it wasn't able to. And it looks like their MG is putting uh, some fire onto us. It's also trying to suppress our troops. So I'm going to use some of the points here to put another burst into them. How the system works is that we have a reserve of uh, leadership points, is technically what they're supposed to be, called caps, and we can use them to either give our troops more action points or increase their roll bonus, whether it be rallying or uh, doing other things such as uh, attacking, like we did over there. Since our troop over here is a little bit uh, worried about that MG, I'm going to move him forward up over here where it should be safe for now. We did get one shot off on the MG, so they're also fairly damaged, and yeah, we still boy. have three caps points. I'm going to see if we can get a, a good shot off onto this maximum. However, it doesn't look like we are able to. So, uh, let's move up some of our infantry to try to take it out. Now I'm just going to get our infantry to waltz right up to the front of the maximum over here and I'm going to play a command card, actually I'm going to get them to go into the tile and I'm going to get them to play a command action card which will give them one free move and I'll play it and I will use it to, uh, in conjunction with one caps point to completely eliminate this maximum. Just like that. So yeah, you can kind of see how like this game flows really nicely in that the cap system and the uh, the units' uh, actions flow really nicely. Uh, because we're up here now, we do have to deal with this rifle squad, so I think I'll get my troops uh, to play this movement card, or play that command card again, so we have one more free action, use our remaining caps points to boost our accuracy, and try to hit them, but unfortunately it doesn't look like that did very much. Uh oh, our MG is pinned. Ah, they have a sniper unit right there, which is able to deliver uh, quite a lot of accurate fire, obviously. 
That might be a little bit of a problem. Let's get our MG set up somewhere else, so it should be able to cover that location uh, now. But like I said, every turn we spend um, just kind of sitting about, it does give the enemy uh, more points in terms of uh, victory points from these objectives. So we do have to capture those right away. I'm going to be just kind of blitzing through over here in German fashion to the objectives. Uh, simply because once our units are suppressed, marked with this uh, little icon over here, the little red icon, they aren't able to fire, so we'll just get our units moving up from the rear to just kind of come up and finish off the enemy just like that. So, the first of our five turns is finished. Let's end the game. Uh, we'll end the turn, rather, and go on to the next one. Uh, every turn, I believe, we draw another card, and it looks like we gain another command action card. I'll use uh, this squad to enter this tile. Oh no, this time the enemy reacted to that. Well, that's fine. That's no big deal. I'll get our troops to uh, just quickly come in here, grab the objective, so that should, uh, that'll should that sway it into our favor for now. And in the meantime, let's try to um, press onto the other ones over there. I'll let the Russian infantry get up nice and close to our MG right here. Then I'll use some of our points to really buff up our MG. And fire. And fire again. And that should, yeah, that should just demolish that squad. Ooh, they're trying to move up onto our squad over here. Well, they're not going to be able to do much because we're going to do that thing again and put some more bullets into them. Unfortunately, it looks like the Russian troops over here were able to get a shot off, uh, which is no biggie. I'll try to rally my troops over here. And it looks like they're going to continue shooting at us. Well, in that case, we're going to play that command action card again, use the remaining uh, caps points, and try to fire on them. But unfortunately, it looks like uh, that has resulted in stalemate over there. Can we get a shot off on that sniper from this MG? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Uh, well, in that case, we're going to have to advance over open ground. Hopefully they don't hit us. Good. I wonder how many points that sniper uses to uh, shoot, but uh, I don't know. It shouldn't matter now that uh, our MG is in range. Damn, we weren't able to finish off that MG squad, but at least, uh, at least we're able to keep it under wraps, right? So, um, with that said, let's try to move up our units even farther over here. And there we go, demolished another one of those squads. Yeah, the nice thing about this game is that it, it plays rather fast, and, um, well, that with that being said, right, it's not as uh, slow-paced. I mean, I could probably get through this scenario in about 15 minutes, whereas in other war games, I'd have to play for... Uh, quite a long time for for individual scenario, right? So that's a really nice thing. Okay, so now that we've advanced, um, we're starting to get closer to the objectives, so uh, we really do need to start pressing onto them. As you can see here, because they hold those hexes, they do get quite a little bit per turn. Um, let's start moving up on to this hex over there. Actually, no, let's get the uh, MG over here to kill the sniper squad. And then I'll get them to move up even further. And I'll wait until the Russians are just inside range over here. Actually, no, nah, let's just fire on them from afar. So that'll suppress them. And that should make it easier for our troops to move in there and take them out. In the meantime, I think I'll get our MG to go forward. So now what we could do is that we can just move our units to pivot like this. Because they're an LMG unit, they, they don't necessarily fare all that well in close combat. But with a little bit of um, caps points, yeah, they should be able to finish off that group. So that's all nice and done. Now that uh, we have that... Let's move up on to this exit point, this victory location. So let's go from the side first. And let's see if the Russians will bite in uh, putting a few bullets onto us, but it doesn't look like they will. Okay, well in that case, let's try to move this squad up here. 
and let's see if they are going to do anything there. Soldaten! There we go, so now we should be able to kill them. Yeah, Kamarad. Yep, just like that, and then we take this objective. So that's uh, that's fairly simple. Um, this campaign is a little bit challenging in that we do have to really up the speed on our offensives simply because, uh, well, the game dictates that uh, we really had to be fast on our toes in this particular in, in this uh, particular campaign, right? So that's kind of why I'm just really uh, blitzing forward with our troops. Let's see if we can uh, take out this rifle squad. And, uh, well, that should be bad. Oh, the rally is successful. We can't allow them to rally, so I'll get them to uh, pull a lot more fires onto that squad. Also play that command action card again, because we have another one of those, and that'll demolish them. Which should make it easy work for our troops to just advance up this road and into that tile. There we go. And I believe that's the uh, end of the scenario. Yeah, there we go. Axis victory. 12 points to their 9. So, uh, we can just go campaign, uh, or rather main menu, and then it'll instruct us to uh, go and play the second uh, firefight scenario. Now, I am uh, recording this on DirectX, so you may have not seen uh, that particular pop-up. And, uh, well, next time we'll be t taking a look at the second battle inside uh, this particular campaign. This time we've covered the basics of the game, you know, infantry combat, how the stats work, and how the caps point system works. Next time, hopefully, we'll be taking a look at uh, armored units and some other stuff. Until then, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.